Hi, I'm Michael Meda, and this is How Regulatory Mechanisms Control Reactions in Biology. There are several different ways that reactions are regulated in biology. I'm going to be giving you a few examples. The first example is a membrane receptor. So a membrane receptor can activate a reaction when a ligand binds to it. So a ligand of the right shape will come attached to the membrane receptor and then downstream you can have a reaction initiated. Another example of regulatory mechanisms are in enzymes. So here we have an enzyme. An enzyme will normally be deactivated. However, regulatory mechanisms can turn on the enzyme and allow the reaction to begin. We just need the right shaped substrate to bind into the enzyme, thus turning it on and allowing a reaction to begin. In our last example, we have a concentration gradient. So a concentration gradient means going from low to high concentration. Over here we have a low concentration and here we have a high concentration of whatever it may be. However, the substance in this concentration gradient will tell you whether or not a reaction should occur. For example, if you're in this area of high concentration, then you may want the reaction to occur. However, if you're in the low concentration area, you may not want the reaction to occur. And these are three examples. I'm Michael Meda, and this has been How Regulatory Mechanisms Control Reactions in Biology.